This video is designed to be a guide. Please note that other complications may exist that aren't addressed in this guide. While we always strive to provide accurate and detailed information, we can't guarantee that it will fix your TV's issues. Shop Jimmy is not responsible for any harm that you may cause to yourself or damage to your TV during the repair process. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. Be sure to take all the proper safety precautions. In this video, we will show the first troubleshooting step for Vizio TV model number E320-A0 if it will not turn on. In these troubleshooting steps, we will use a multimeter to check for certain voltages. In order to continue troubleshooting, be sure you have the proper training, experience, skills, and equipment necessary to use a multimeter to check voltages in a TV. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. The first thing that I can do is to check and see if there's a standby light in the front of the TV. Some TVs have the ability to show a standby light, while others do not. If I do see a standby light on the front of the TV, that shows that I do have some power going to the TV, but it will just not turn on. We will continue troubleshooting. I have removed the back cover off the TV, and I will use my meter to check the standby voltage on the power supply. The first thing I will do is identify the power supply in the TV. Then, look for a cable that runs from the power supply to the main board. We will use the test points at VCC and VCC at the only connection that connects the main board to the power supply board. Plug in your TV, but do not power it on. The standby voltage should be 19 volts if present. If 19 volts is present at this test point, it shows that the main board and power supply boards are working correctly. If the voltage shows closer to zero volts, then it shows that there is a problem with either the main board or the power supply board. There are a few different power supply boards and main boards for this TV model number. We are now showing a similar power supply that looks a little bit different but has the same voltages and the testing points we are using are in a similar location as well. The next troubleshooting step is to unplug the TV and then disconnect this cable from the power supply board. After disconnecting the cable, plug the TV back in, but do not turn it on. Before you test the voltage, be sure the lead on the meter only touches one test point on the connection, like we have shown in the image. Test the same point again on the power supply with the cable disconnected. If you do have 19 volts at this point, then it shows that the power supply is working correctly and there is a problem with the main board. You should replace the main board if your first test showed 0 volts and you are now getting 19 volts with the cable disconnected. If you get 0 volts when testing this point at the power supply with the cable disconnected, then you should replace the power supply board. Click this link in the video to watch our main board and power supply board replacement video.